you mean it, that, that you can grow this fish from start to grow out without water change. Exactly. I can tell you that there is no odor in this uh, uh, particular pond. So, ladies and gentlemen, I heard one of the most fascinating things uh, that really shocked me. The thing is the idea of rolling fish without the change of water. Um, I, I think it should as well uh, shock you if, if you don't get shocked by now. But I, I, I understood that this is a possibility that is real. Yeah. And today I'm in the farm of um, one of the um, fish consultants in the Bible State, um, about a little precisely, who is going to explain this uh, principle to me because I'm shocked. I'm definitely shocked. I can't believe you can roll a fish from start to grout without changing water. I think you, this is a video you need to watch, um, especially if you're a fish farmer, how you plan on um, starting to raise fish for profit or anything. So with that said, um, I think let's head right straight into the farm. Um, so you can, we can meet the um, fish consultant and as well um, get to hear from him and let him explain this possibility uh, and the principle behind it. So uh, we are now in the farm and as you can see, there are a lot of um, tapoli setups oh, here. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of them, there are many, 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 many of them here. Yeah. I can only count the number uh, they are now until we meet the fish consultant. He'll be the one to um, better explain the concept of this tarpaulin um, pond here and how many there are. And most interestingly and most uh, amazing, the concept of um, rolling these fishes without change of water. That means this fish or uh, this uh, in this pond now, this water has not been changed since this uh, the same in this fish. Um, it's something interesting that you need to uh, know and as well learn the principle behind it. So with that, let's. Um, we need the fish consultant um, in front of this uh, fish farm already. Mm -hmm. um, yes, here we are. Um, this is a fish consultant in um, charge of the, this um, big fish farm. So um, please tell me your name and as well you tell us the, the concept behind running these fishes without change of water. It's something interesting that we and my viewers would like to know and learn. Yeah. So um, what's your name please? My name is Steven Chuku Okike. I'm the chief consultant of uh, Selection Fish Farm. So what we do out here is we grow our fish basically from start to finish without water change. You mean it, that, is that you can grow this fish from start to grow out without water change? Exactly. Interesting, interesting, very, very interesting. So it's, wow. an, it's an interesting part of the interesting part of it is just a very simple process and it is more cost effective and it's a very well efficient way of farming your fish because the one of the advantage you get more than that we had water challenge here that prompted us to start this culture means is uh, because we lack sufficient water during dry season so we started this uh, process it's have been running for up to two years now so we farm our fish here basically from start to finish without water change so that is what we do here so we use probiotics uh, to achieve this process basically when people hear about this probiotics they think uh, it's a very difficult this thing we are just using her, allowing nature to help us from our fish so it's just a very simple oh, yeah, thing. you say is a what probiotics probiotics yes probiotics wow. are just useful bacteria that uh, we introduce to the pond that enables the water a uh, retain water uh, the water quality retain for a longer time so we use this probiotics to achieve this process uh, can you tell us more about these probiotics how, how how do we get to arrive and achieve um, getting the probiotics um what we do basically is uh, we add sand to the pond bottom we fill up our tank with water so there are sands be um inside yes. these uh so we you can come let me show you so we have a a, a, a pond here that is empty so um i will show you um how it looks like down there so um you can you can you can you can yeah, 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 i can see fishes uh, please catch can see fishes oh, 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 so, oh, yeah, so, this, so. this these are bigger fish the other time oh, 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 yeah, I see them, I see them. Uh, so this is a a, a a pond or a fish pond that um the water has been drained so you can see the sand at the bottom of the pond you can see them so this sand is what uh, we introduce and we fill up the water and we culture the process and put. Yeah. So um, we we are going to basically use this pond to keep growing our fish. So once we have introduced this bacteria in the package like this, uh, so to get the package, get one probiotic so they can see. So that's what we use. We just buy it and we introduce it to the pond and that's all. Wow, it's really amazing. It's really amazing to get to uh, um, discover this uh, new uh, fish growing mechanism that requires, uh, that enables water uh, fishes to be grown in a toponym pond without change of water. 
No, most times I see um, peach farmers complaining of a high cost of changing of water, and then it should be cost because I don't know how many liters we can imagine the number of liters of uh, water that can get this size of tarpaulin pond to be filled to this extent. You can imagine changing it like twice a week or once a week. What how cost effective is going to be? And considering that there are many tarpaulin ponds over here, um, how many tarpaulin ponds are here? We have over. 25 tapolin points here yeah. wow. and we have some 18 points here yeah. can you give us the size of the measurements oh some of the tank we have here is uh, 10 by 10 feet 4 feet height and we also have 10 by 20 some of the sizes are 10 by 20 feet awesome. there that is uh, the biggest tapolin pond we have here for now i just see something interesting i don't know this thing is, um, uh, looks like a, a <laughs> drip, drip uh, pipeline or <laughs> drip uh, tube is it, is why, it, why is it i'm supposed to see them in the fish farm so okay. what is it and um what is it used for so this yeah. is uh, um what we used to aerate our water earlier before now we used to farm do this process without aerators so we just started this process recently to see the um as you can see you look at if you focus on the um pond you notice that there are bubbles coming out of the um pond so okay, so it's, it's actually on now yes it's on now and the aerator is activated and the aerator pumps in basically oxygen to the pond so we use it to help the fish and um, stay more comfortable. So earlier before now we used to farm do this process without this aerator, but we don't wow. and each of the new. ponds uh, have one um aerator uh, yes, uh, connected yes, into, yes, into yes, them. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. said it enables the uh, oxygen to be pumped into pumped the into the pond. Into so the that pond. is why you see some of them bubbling, you see each of them. So oh. we use it to introduce our uh, oxygen into the pond. That's what we do basically. I'm very, very happy to see that um fish farming is really um taking another shape uh, especially in uh, a pony state of Akaliki precisely. Yes. Please uh, what is the location of this farm and in this of uh, this farm setting? This farm is actually located in a bony state. We are um, located at a uh, AZ local government uh, in a bony state. So it's at, off Obu Bara Junction. So we are just here in this uh, community and we are doing this this thing it's interesting to know that this thing is just happening there in a place that we have um, access to large um plots of land landmarks and landmarks land land uh, i think it's a major challenge challenge for uh, uh, fish farmers getting a, a, a large portion of land to expand their their fish farms yes wow well, it's interesting so uh, i think uh, this is the uh, pro yes, about. yes this is the pro so. Pro so you can as well explain for that what this pro is and how it can be introduced and the possibility of it being used to where fishes from start to grow out without water change so this is just uh, the sample of the uh, probiotics we use. It's written on it. What wow, can see. Soil probiotics. probiotics. That is why we add some to the bottom so that the bacteria can attach their cell both to the soil and also to the water. So we just do this process once we introduce it into the pond and even after changing the water, we can still use that container also without introducing this thing again. Except okay. on special occasion when you find out that the probiotics, you need it to reproduce more you add more of it but the broad royalties is already attached so we can just fill up and use that same pond to grow our fish without introducing just like the one we, we saw over there yes, so, so yeah. like how long has um, these fishes been in this water like how long has this so this, uh, been in this, this water? particular um size of fish was introduced um on october 18th october 18th that is a uh, uh, the um, time of introduction so this fish should be up to a month old now or a month and some days now that's that, this particular pond and yes and they have been in this pond to you without no, water without water change what about other, uh, these other ones over we, here we have and another tank that have a bigger fish if you watch look at this pond this okay. is a tank that has fish this fish is uh, i think we can see the fish is yeah, 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 yeah. this particular pond they uh, have fish that is over three months or oh, wow roughly three months so and we have not changed this water from that time till now and you notice that the fish are comfortable. You wouldn't even notice them coming out. They are always comfortable. And there is no outdoor. That's the most interesting part of it. Like, so, no unlike yes. some other um, ponds I do go, uh, if the water is not changed, probably after one week, as well as the, the fishes have already grown up, you see the water smelling. But I can tell you that there is no outdoor in this uh, uh, particular pond. So yes. it's something, something really interesting and amazing. So, something really interesting and amazing. Yeah, so these fishes here have been over three months, over yes, three months, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. I have a lot of uh, um, 
uh, teachings and uh, videos I've made already on this particular process. So if there are some farmers that might be interested to know about this process, they can, you know, use uh, the social media space to get access to some of those teachings on this platform. Oh, you have a free uh, YouTube channel where you have done a video that tells us about this as well? Yes, yes, wow, yes, wow. yes I'm uh, good. What happens, I'm going to link um, his channel into the description of this video. So uh, if you're interested to know more uh, on how this uh, was achieved, you click on the bio or the description in the description of this video and check out his channel to see it. Um, I'm even surprised that he, he he made it out there for free. A lot of people might have um, charged, you know, uh, called people together to charge them to teach them this. And um, it's really interesting to see that uh, we are really innovating, innovative enough, and the fish family is really transforming into uh, uh, adapting the new technologies and uh, science as we grow and progress. So this is something really amazing. And uh, I'd love to visit you some other time. And as well, definitely visit. Uh, is there are there, are there any um, grown fishes uh, uh, available so they can see? Yes. Um, basically, the the technique we use to farm our fish here is uh, a quite uh, a different one that uh, is different from the conventional. So most times you notice that the fishes are not coming up, but we have bigger fish uh, in this other time, but they might not come up because we don't feed our fish in the um, in, by this hour. We have a special technique we use to feed our fish. We feed our fish at this stage once a day, and it's mostly um, during the sunset where we have enough uh, dissolved oxygen in the water. That's the time. So it's another method of feeding that we adapt that will make this process seamless. Wow, that's interesting to know. Ah, um, I love, I love, I really love what you people are doing. Here. It's really amazing, yeah. really amazing. I, I, I think um, uh, with the support of um from the government and more of this can be done. Uh, especially in um, you know, uh, enlightening in in calling people and enlightening and educating them on this alternative um fish farm methods that were that was discovered. Yes. It's really something nice. I I would love to visit you again. You uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Mister Steven yes, um, Chukwu. Chukwu. So I'm glad I've been uh, visiting your farm and having this nice chat with you. Yeah. I hope to come here some other time. And dear viewers, expect more videos uh, about this some other time in the future. So catch you up later. Yeah.